Just last year, they were threatening each other with war. And today, President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un have finally shaken hands in Singapore. It is the moment all have been waiting for, known to many as the historic summit. This also marks the first time a sitting US president comes face to face with a North Korean leader. Trump can be seen briefly grabbing Kim's upper arm at the beginning of their handshake and then put his arm on Kim's back to guide them to their meeting room. They then spoke briefly in a corridor before entering their meeting room and both men were smiling as they shook hands again with just two interpreters, interpreters on their side. Following the historic handshake, President said he feels, quote, really great. The President said, quote, we are going to have a great discussion and a terrific relationship. Mr. Kim said it was not easy to get here, quote, there were obstacles, but we overcame them to be here. They are right now in a meeting. In the meantime, let's talk about denuclearization, which will obviously be a massive topic. Well, if you are wondering, where does US and North Korea stand on this? Denuclearization is possibly the most important word at today's negotiations, and also the one around which there is least clarity. It is clear that the United States wants complete, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization, or commonly known as CVID. What North Korea wants? This is less clear. Although North Korea keeps mentioning the word, it has yet to say specifically what its version of denuclearization would involve. South Korea and the United States have insisted all sides are on the same page about the removal of North Korea's nuclear weapons. But some ex experts have pointed out Pyongyang often refers to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, which would include a withdrawal of the United States troops as well. According to the BBC News, while many Americans support this summit, few believe North Korea will denuclearize. President Trump's summit with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is poised to be the most popular action of his presidency, presidency so far. A new poll released Wednesday lays out the short-term optimism from American voters on negotiations with North Korea. Here are the stats. About 72% of American voters say they approve of the president's meeting with the leader of the rogue regime. That includes half of Democrats. But only 20% of Americans say they think North Korea will ever give up its nuclear weapons. A white 68% say Kim will never give them up. Even Republicans are pessimistic on the question, with 30% saying they will give them up versus 47% who say they won't. With moments to go before the summit, President tweeted that his top economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, has suffered a heart attack and is at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Washington, D.C. His tweet said, Our great Larry Kudlow, who had been working so hard on trade and the economy, has just suffered a heart attack. For more on this, stay tuned to our channel. For News Always On, I'm Castle.